Thank you, Mayor. I am Nathaniel Batchelder. I live at 2912 North Robinson Street in Oklahoma City, and I represent today the Central Oklahoma Human Rights Alliance. A great city is known not just for its skyscrapers, but also for how it protects its minorities. This amendment is political only because some are using scriptures to protest that being gay or lesbian is a sin rather than a characteristic. The scriptures have been misused before. For 200 years, scriptures were used in this country to defend slavery. It's in the Bible, must be okay with God. For another 100 years after that, scriptures were used to defend racial segregation. And America actually considered a constitutional amendment to ban interracial marriage. So who should we listen to? Well, sexual orientation, whether one is gay or straight, has been declared a normal human characteristic by the American Medical Association, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Psychological Association, and the National Association of Social Workers. More people are convinced every day that this is a civil rights issue. Coretta Scott King, for example, did a news conference in 1993 at Dr. King's gravesite. She said, gays and lesbians have been with us since the beginning of our struggle for equal rights, and I'm not going to abandon them now in theirs. Oklahoma City's own Clara Looper testified for this very question in 2005 before the Oklahoma County Commissioners. She said, we are asking you to break through the chains of tradition into this century and make sure that all people will have equal rights. Don't discriminate against God's children. Voters have committed millions of dollars for the MAPS 1, 2, and 3 projects to build Oklahoma City into a modern an attractive place where people and businesses will want to locate. So, will you now vote for Oklahoma City's future or Oklahoma City's past? I leave you with the motto of the Central Oklahoma Human Rights Alliance. Diversity means business. Thank you.